Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we will take the AI vision application, computer vision application that we have created in one of the previous videos and we will deploy it so that it will be available for anyone to see and you will be able to provide the link in your CV to the application so that the recruiters will be very easily able to see your work. We will do it completely for free using Streamlit services. Let's get started. So the application that you currently do see, it basically allows you to load an image and then it shows you a description and some tags of what is on the image using AI, uh, Azure AI Vision. What you will need for the deployment is a GitHub account. If you, by some miracle, do not have a GitHub account for now, go over to github.com and create one. Once you have created an account, this is something you should see. And basically now I will show you how to upload your code to GitHub with creating a new repository. If you know how to do that or you have already done it, you can just skip to the next part of the video. Um, there will be tags in the description. So basically you want to go into repositories, click on new, and then just say here, give it a name, let's say Streamlit Computer, computer Vision. You can give it a description, it doesn't matter nothing matters here what you do what is important is that you now copy this link and let's go back to visual studio code now and what you are going to do in visual studio code so make sure you have a terminal here that is in your directory i maybe do it a little bit bigger and basically what you say is git init and then you say git remote at origin and then you paste the link and basically now the local repository that you have in github was connected to your remote repository on github so your local git repository was connected to the remote git repository on github what we need to do now is you need to say git add dot to add all the files basically if you don't want to do it uh, on the command line, although I highly recommend it, you can also go here to the source control, built-in source control of Visual Studio Code and you can just click it here. However, I think it's good to get some commands of Git, right? I'm saying git commit dash M to basically uh, write a commit message. Usually the first commit would be something like an initial commit if you are up just uploading the files to the repository and now you have to say git push it will ask us because the local master branch is not connected to the remote master branch therefore it will ask us to set an upstream branch and now everything has been uploaded to github once we are here we can hit we can just refresh the page and now we can see basically an initial commit done now that contains our application Important is it doesn't contain the .env file. So in Visual Studio Code, I have a .env file here. However, thanks to this git ignore that ignores this .env, it was not committed here. And it was not committed here because I don't want my API key for the uh, Azure AI computer vision services to be publicly available here. This is a big, big no-no uh, to do this. So never, never commit your API key or other secrets, so passwords, usernames that you have to any change uh, control repository or source control repository. Next step is you are going to go to share.streamlet.io and you are going to create an account here just with your email address or GitHub if you wish. I will now log in. I have already done it. So after you have created an account, you should see something like this. I'll make it a little bit bigger for you. Basically, what we want to do now is click here. You should see this warning sign. Click on it and say connect GitHub account. We will need GitHub uh, to be connected to Streamlit so that we can deploy our application directly from Streamlit and we will have very nice, um, we will have very nice CI CD pipeline also with this. Now important is it has connected me automatically. You will most likely have to go over some authorization. So we will have to allow uh, GitHub to uh, authorize uh, Streamlit to make some changes in GitHub, it will create a webhook. So after you have your GitHub account connected here, what you do is say create app. It asks you if you already have an app 
which we do, or if you want to create one from an existing template, if you just want to experiment, feel free, but no, we already have an app. Now here we need to select a repository. If you just click here, you will get a list of all your repositories. What you can do also is you can go, go to GitHub. In GitHub, go to repositories, and we have just created here the Streamlit Computer Vision repository. Click on code, copy this link, go back to Streamlit, paste it here. We'll need a link to um, your repository. So you just remove the .git at the end. Main file path. So what we need to check is we have the main app file inside our app folder and then app.py. So we say app slash app.py. And then the URL, this is it. Uh, it will be just like this. So this will be your, your domain where your application will be hosted. And then you just click deploy. And now the deployment will begin. So the only downside here is it can, it can take some time. If it basically is taking you longer than around, let's say 10 to 15 minutes, what you should do is go here to manage app and see if you have any error or warning messages here. If it will be stuck on installing dependencies, so essentially we are there now, uh, it is processing dependencies. What is very nice about Streamlit, it has automatically detected that we have used ppnv so it's also using ppnv to install our dependencies now if it will be stuck on processed dependencies or processing dependencies from your side what you can do is you can go in here and you can just reboot this application or delete this application and try again as in go through that application deployment process again or what you can also do is, because the biggest dependency that we do have is the Azure, basically it's the, the Azure AI vision image analysis. What you can do is try to remove this line. So just cut this line, go, to, go over this git add, git commit and git push, essentially make a new change. And then the application will run, however, without this Azure open AI. Of course it will not work, However, what you do then is just paste it here once again and go over once again at git add, git comment, git push. And then it should uh, restart the deployment process and hopefully help you. At least I had to do it one time. So I have now done it. And what we can see here, maybe if I make it a little bit bigger for you, is it has printed missing required nth variables. And if we go back to Visual Studio Code and check where do we print this? It is here, missing required and variables. So basically we are missing one last point to make our application working. We need to have these environment variables, these so-called secrets inside our application also. And it's super easy. You're just going to the .env file. I will remove the services before publishing this video. Uh, so I don't worry that I show you now the API key. You go back here, you go in here. Now you go to settings and here you have secrets, right? You just paste your file here to ensure a proper format. You just need a double quotation mark before the variables here, and then you click save. What you do then is you click on reboot app or you even don't have to do it. As you can see, your app is working it is deployed once again i can show you i can refresh this tab that this is really deployed now you can copy this link you can put it in your cv and this is it we have managed to successfully deploy the computer vision application on streamlit absolutely for free no credit card information necessary now there are plenty other options, deployment options, but at least I don't know any option that would be able to host web applications completely for free. For now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in some next videos.